close your borders now. It have no barriers that could stop what already here. Hearts fling open their doors. Waistlines will find their orbits. And suns are lit in their belly of mankind when she arrives. My poor still reason. But I didn't execute it like how Nikolai would have said it on that way. <laughs> <laughs> but that was one of the lines that was executed by Nikolai. Um, and, and when I heard that line, gentlemen, um, among the entire theme of what was Lavoie, the presentation, it, 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 it touched me. Um, I, I had Val at the on before when they were teasing what was to come. And I was appreciating it, but not recognizing the the actual enormity yeah. of, of, of yeah. what was coming um, and the story that was coming because the no carnival thing bothered me for the last two months you know <laughs> I, 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 I said we can't just say no carnival mm -hmm. you know I mean uh, just, so that bothered me personally on a personal level Fine, so, 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 first, yeah so when, <laughs> when I saw what was presented what you guys presented yeah. I said okay there's hope <laughs> because because there are people within the national society that understands that this festival is bigger than me, you, and anybody else that, 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 that feels that they could just mm. cancel what is in us, mm. what breeds, what lives, what thrives. So I, want, I already said that to just say thank you first of all for the part you guys would have played in it and putting it out there. Sure. Um, and, and you bringing it to life, writing, um, as I said, that, that, that was real, real important, I think, for the National Society. I believe that if you're a carnival lover, you should see it. If you're not, if you're just a Trinbigonian, this is something that you should see. When, when looking back, guys, at, at the production, I don't know if you guys would have seen it through. Yeah. yeah, outside of being involved in the production, have you guys seen it, sat down and watched it? Yeah, yeah. 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 What was that like? <laughs> it is, so I had two experiences over carnival. Love and Mask, where right. it's very, very strange. Especially, I'm talking about this particular case. So I really respect Nicola as an actor, as right. a human being, but as an actor, he's possibly one of, not possibly, he's one of the finest, I would say possibly the finest, but I might be going over the top. Right. But he is one of the finest actors on the island in this moment, right? Zero, zero, yeah. Um, and to hear Nikolai internalize those words and then give them back in ways that I didn't think about. That gave them even more life than mm -hmm. I thought, or a different life to what I thought. That was very overwhelming for me. So when I watched Mask for the first time and I saw him in full character and I saw all the camera, like I, within like five minutes, I was in tears. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel not just because it's my words being reflected back at me, but I felt like no one before had taken any time to tell me how much this thing was worth, you know. And so I feel like replacing the word festival with the word ritual gives us a whole different context to what it is we have. And looking at it as a ritual that all people perform every year and give as a gift of energy to the world is a better way to see it. And that's what I felt when I watched it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to critique yourself, man. Right? Yeah, when, like, I mean, when, I, was, I was telling you that, yeah, that, that yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. As, a, as an actor, I tend to... Once I'm done with the work, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the work. Right, right. right. Uh, just, just to keep my head pure. Um, and because I... I I'm finished with a job and I move on immediately. It's, it's, there's no rest. Um, but looking at it in the IMAX theater, what struck me, because it was the first time I actually saw it in, in its entirety, because before that I was just on set shooting and, you know, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if how many people know what a film set is like. Yeah. It's, it's not magical at all, right? It's, it's very dull and boring and there are a lot of moving things. And, you know, and the audience sees a spectacle, but we on the set, we just see light and, you know, everything behind the scenes. But looking at the spectacle of it on the screen, I felt a, a sense of pride to have been a part of that moment, you know. Um, to see Carnival transition into film using the types of techniques that film can actually achieve at this point in time. Because we've done it, we've done it before. There have been attempts to take Carnival, put it on a screen before. Um, and I'm not knocking any of those attempts. But just seeing the entire spectacle of how they use the magic of film and really bringing out everything in a big 
splash of color and that whole kaleidoscope for me was just like riveting yeah you know yeah. um and it was necessary too i feel like seeing it i felt like okay well we have something that's actually pulling on the heartstring for the year you know as a presentation for carnival something that trimbegonians i think by and large the carnival community globally can latch on to yeah you know? the 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 spectacle was fantastic yeah. and I enjoyed the spectacle, the performances by the uh, the artists. But um, I don't know, it's because of my journalistic brain sometimes, mm -hmm. um, the story. And that's why, Mohamed, I, I reached out to you because most times when you hear the carnival story, it's told through the eyes of a foreigner. Mm -hmm. uh, a foreign broadcaster comes down and captures mm -hmm. what we do and tells the story through the eyes. I looked at Lavwe during the during the during the carnival season and saw our story being told by us and and that was different for me you know uh, it was nikolai telling me don't you don't play with this thing you know this thing's serious yeah, <laughs> she yeah. come in you know yeah. <laughs> you can't stop her from coming you know and, and that was different that was different for me when I, when I think about what our ancestors have been through right i mean all of our ancestors because sometimes we tend to feel like um there's a monopoly on pain or something right Although many people, you know, the, our African ancestors would have gone through a far longer period and they would have gone through different things to our East Indian or the Chinese. But all of our ancestors who came here had some sense of loss, they had some sense of despair, they had some sense, and a lot of that energy was brought here. We could have made anything and look what we make. Look at what we chose to be the very best of ourselves to bring that out. Look at, we could have done anything with that energy. You know, to be killed, to be slaughtered and enslaved for hundreds of years, to be to be to be placed as lesser in, in the scale of humanity and all of that. And then out of that to bring this, I mean, you can't play with that. You know? You can't play with that. And I think that's the understanding that we have to continue to give our children because we look at carnival and so many people wanna just say it's a pagan festival, it's just sex thing, it's just Go deeper than that, you know, he was talking about the, um, Nikolai was talking about the mass before and there's a difference between the carnival and the mass, you know, and I said the difference between festival and ritual. Mm -hmm. And that to me is where, is where it lies and what we have to really tell the children, but not tell them in a way like, oh, you don't know your culture or whatever, but decide to give it to them in a way that it mm -hmm. is undeniable because it is already undeniable. Yeah. But how do you present it to the next generation to make them go, yes, I want to claim that, yeah. not I'm a culture, so I have to defend it. No. It's not to chastise them for it, it's just, yeah, you got to invite them in on the experience, you yeah. know. As the next living embodiment of our ancestors, ourselves, like yeah. the continuation. Let it, let it continue yeah, through the generation. Exactly. And, with, and that they could do anything what they want to do with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know, there, there's, there's also no monopoly, no, mono, no monopoly on creativity or on how the thing changes and evolves and morphs over the years. You know what I mean? So, if we fail to make pan relevant to the next generation, and then they have pan on the greens and the panorama sort of phase out itself or whatever. Whose fault is that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Is it that, you know, they're supposed to care about panorama just because we cared or somebody else cared before? No. Mm -hmm. You have to make these things consistently relevant. And if they fall out of relevance, yeah. regardless of how big of an institution you thought it was before, it is still on every generation to hold on to things and to release things. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that you could do about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But right. telling these stories, Mohammed, as I said, uh, you know. I, I say, Give us the Dimashka. Give us the traditional characters how you want to create. Like, give us the space. Right? The powers that be said, we are not imaginative, imaginative enough to create a space for this to exist. We are not imaginative, imaginative enough to create the space that is the height of imagination. Alright. But we are. And not only are we just saying we are, we showed you we are. Which means that whether you want to accept it or not, there's a passage there. Now, are you noble enough to say, I see that I was wrong, but I couldn't in my wildest dreams imagine a way forward. But I see that the young ones are imagining a way forward. Let me now consult with them. Or are you going to go, nah, I'm not interested in that. I'm not on Facebook, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And TikTok thing, I'm not about that. Yeah. Are you going to go that direction or are you going to realize now is that time for Right? We, we, we need to come together and yeah. collaborate. Because I think, well, I'm not think, I know, I have all, I, myself and others have already begun to dream what these things could be, you know? So it doesn't have to be 
that these things belonged to our generation mm -hmm. and that we look up on Panorama and Calypso Monarch with nostalgia. You know, we go there for this sense of, let's dream it. Let's dream something else, right? Because we are the wildest dreams of our ancestors. So what are we dreaming now? Whose ancestors are we? You know, and that's how I feel about it. Yeah. We showed that we are capable, you know? So your father teach you how to chop tree, and all the time he swing any big heavy axe, and then you get old enough, and one day he reach a little late, and by the time he reach, the tree was already down. And he stand up there and he watch. He have two choices. Is he jealous of the son he created, or is he proud? That is my question. Mohammed Muakil, I want to thank you very much, Nicola. Yeah, thank you guys for so just dropping by and sharing. Yeah, um, yeah, as I said, once, once, once I think I saw what Lave was, uh, my my appetite was wet when Val and, and Dean came on, um, and, and and once I saw what it was, I knew that something was changing. I, that, that, that's how it left me as well. And I'm talking about a love of carnival, a love of the festival, a national, a Trinbig union. I felt, hey, something is changing here. And I'm hearing you loud and clear more in terms of, of, of that changing and probably our, this generation taking it differently and passing it on. Something changed, I think, mm -hmm. in 2021 or is changing. And let's, let, let me leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And let's hope that as we go, as we look ahead, generations to come will will appreciate and understand things a little differently yeah thank you guys thank you guys um, i want to thank the entire uh the lost tribe val mickey the entire tribe family uh, for, for the efforts of, of presenting what was lovely telling our stories through our eyes very very important